Hey guys, it's Josh once again. I'm coming at you with a, uh, another InDesign tutorial. Uh, this one's uh, one of the basics, just about uh, your toolbar and, and one of the more useful tools, which I uh, use quite often, is the eyedropper tool. Now, most people know this as being uh, kind of the color picker tool, which means if you go over to a photo and you see a color that you really like and you want to use that, uh, in your design, uh, you just click on it, click on the color you like, and you can see it pops up uh, here in your colors. And you can also add that as a swatch if you just click up here and uh, go to New Color Swatch, and then just hit Add. It'll give you the swatch of, of whatever color you picked on there. Uh, the cool thing about this is after you do that, let's say you want to incorporate it in your design, uh, you can go over to a piece of text, for instance, click and hold, and drag it up to whatever part of the text that you want to edit. When you let it go, it's going to pick up that color, which is really amazing. And you can do the same thing uh, with just any sort of a, a, a graphic frame, like we have the rectangular frame, the ellipse frame, polygon frame, any of those, uh, once you've done that, and let me get the color back up here on the eyedropper, all you have to do is just click on that frame, and it'll pick up that color, just like that. Uh, another really useful thing here, let me put out a little thing of text here, is let's say I want this bottom text here to be like this I can take my eyedropper tool click on the text and it will format it when I drag it on here it's gonna format it just like the rest of it which is very useful especially when you're doing a multiple page uh, type of publication and you want to keep everything consistent throughout. That's one really easy way to do it. Um, so that's just one really useful item on your toolbar over here. And uh, be sure to, to try out some of the others and, and see uh, what they all do and how you can try to figure out how you can use them to do whatever sort of design that you're wanting to do. Anyways, thanks for listening to my video. Uh, I hope that helped you guys out, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.